Hi Year 2 and welcome to our Term 5 DT Challenge. Our DT project is to make a winding mechanism for a lighthouse. The crane in the picture has a winding mechanism so that it is able to lift very heavy objects. I wonder where you might find a crane like this. Can you think of any other things that use a winding mechanism? You might want to pause the video whilst you make a list. Here's a picture of a well. Be careful you don't fall in. A well has a winding mechanism. How does it work? Well, the bucket is attached to a rope. The rope is attached to an axle, the axle is attached to a handle. You wind the handle so that the bucket moves up and down into and out of the water. That way you are able to lift water, which is heavy, out of the ground. Can you make a list of the different parts of the well? Pause the video whilst you do this. When we're designing something, it is important that we use technical language. This is because we need to make sure that people are clear and understand what we are talking about. Here's some of the technical language that winding mechanisms will have. An axle. This is a rod on which one or more wheels can turn. A pulley wheel. This is a grooved wheel over which a cord or a rope can run. A handle. This is something that is held on to. A base. This is the part on which the rest of the mechanism is supported. A frame. This is a rigid structure that surrounds something. Hook and bucket. This is something bent at an angle which is used to catch hold of or lift something else. Here's the picture of the well again. Look at your list of parts. Do they match any of the technical words we used? OK, the well has a pulley wheel, a bucket, a base, a frame, an axle and a handle. As we have been reading the Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch, your DT challenge is to make a model lighthouse and use a winding mechanism to wind the lunch to the top. Mr Grinling will stand at the top and you will bring the lunch to him using a winding mechanism. Remember, the lighthouse needs a base which could be the rock. You might also want to put the C in your model. Here are some pointers and ideas. Remember to draw your lighthouse first. Make sure you show the winding mechanism and include a base for your lighthouse. Remember to think about these things. How will you make the lighthouse body? What will you need to make the mechanism? What will your lighthouse stand on? How will you attach your lighthouse to its base? How will you make your lighthouse look like a lighthouse? OK, you're ready to start your project. On the school website you will find a worksheet that will help you design your lighthouse. You can download this or just copy it into your Blue Home Writing Book. You can use anything you like to build it. You could make a junk model or a Lego model. Remember, it must have a winding mechanism and it must look like a lighthouse. When you have finished building your model, remember to take a picture and send it to your class teacher. Happy building!